Icarus was supposed to be a second Earth. Some kind of paradise brought to you by the best scientific minds in the universe. <laughs> yeah, right. You know, wonder they called it Icarus. Big planet-sized dream that came crashing down. They had no idea what they were in for. I'm a it up. Pure and simple. I've done a lot of crazy in my time, eh? But Icarus, <laughs> that was next level. If you couldn't find food, you died. If you couldn't find oxygen, you died. If you couldn't find shelter from the storms, you died. Mo, she was an engineer. Xeno engineer, she was sent with the team to terraform the place, so... Yeah, she was there when it all went to hell. The other guys, they left as soon as they could. But not Mo. That wasn't her style. She was there to make money. Like the rest of us. People died on Icarus all the time, you know? You just tried not to think about it. What happened to her was no accident, no way. Well, the journey to Icarus was brutal. It was four light years from Earth, 30 trillion miles, and two years in long sleep. I mean, <laughs> talk about jet lag. <laughs> we were the first cohort. We were the first wave of cowboys. You know, it was, a, it was a whole new planet. It was unreal. Then reality kicked in. Oh, they opened up Icarus to prospectors when all the terraforming went So I signed on as soon as I could. She offered to drop with us. She wanted to show us around like, like was it her apartment or something. <laughs> well, I figure she just wanted to see how we do on the first drop. It was like going back in time and seeing the Earth a million years ago. The trees, the plants, the animals, they're from Earth. I mean, the bio team had adapted them after the terraforming went to but Jesus Christ, it does your head in at first. Outside the zone, it was different. People always think that we had a bunch of advanced tech up there, but we had nothing. We spent everything just trying to get there. We're like cave people in spacesuits, those first few drops. If we needed uh, shelter or tools or something, well, we had to make it ourselves. I barely made it back to the dropship alive that first time. Yeah, I got better, of course. I mean, Mo taught me some She taught me how to build shelters, find oxygen. But the best thing she taught me was you got to respect that planet, not to fear it. She was smart. I mean, cocky as hell, but look, she'd been part of the terraforming group, right? So she knew the planet inside and out. I mean, literally, right? She spoke about it all the time, you know, about the first time terraforming it wasn't going to work. And about finding the first exotics. I'm just saying. Doesn't it feel like a coincidence that they declared the planet uninhabitable just when they discovered the most valuable material in the universe? Weird, eh? Hey, I ain't complaining. I did okay out of it. It was the exotics that killed the terraforming. Screwed with the enzymes. Then again, they changed everything. I mean, without the exotics, there never would have been a first cohort. Because it was all about the exotics. You find them, you sell them back at the station, you get more gear, you go back down, find more, drop, survive, and repeat. On Icarus, um, a handful of exotics would get you a, a new suit, uh, a radar, uh, a rifle. But on Earth, it would buy you anything you wanted. No, I talked about her, her mum and her brother all the time kind of life she could give them thanks to the exotic she'd found. She didn't stay because she needed the money. She'd made her money. She stayed because she loved it. We all did. It was addictive. She was addicted. The second you felt comfortable on the surface, you take your eye off the mission clock. And that's how people die. It happened all the time, eh? You know, people miss the window to get back to their ship, and then there was no way they'd get back to the station, and that was it. You'd never see them again. They had to die, that's for sure. The drop started off fine. 
None of us had ever been to that part of the planet before, not even Mo. Prospecting in unfamiliar areas, I, I hated it. But there was always more exotics and undiscovered areas, so none of us knew what to expect. Not back then, but Mo, she was like a moth to a flame. Didn't even notice she'd wandered off. If you're asking me if I feel guilty for what happened to her, I do. We looked for her as long as we could. But you know, there's a big storm coming and you don't hang about for those ever. The bear attack is my guess. The forests were full of them. I mean, anything could have happened. It wasn't an accident. Mo didn't come back because she didn't want to come back. She knew she couldn't go home, not after what had happened to that planet and the part she had played in it. Look, Mo didn't want to die. She... She was right where she wanted to be. Ma, John, you How are you guys? You got a girlfriend yet, bro? <laughs> um, sorry, I haven't been in touch. My bad. Just want to say that I'm fine. Today is my last drop. I wish that maybe if the terraforming me had worked, you could have been here. Not what people could have been here. I miss you guys. Thank you. You know, I'll see you guys soon. <laughs> <laughs>